Hello there, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you a real quick video on how to download this very nice, very clean UI, very simple UI mod that shows you, if you look right there and above where it says the damage for basic hammer, shows you how much everything you have is worth to sell, including calculating them by stacks. So uh, pretty good stuff here. Very simple, simple mod, very easy to get and download. And it means you can just mouse over things and determine how much it's worth. Um, let me show you how to get it. So the mod itself is located on Nexus Mods. You have to have an account. Uh, I just chose a free account. It was very easy to download with this. I don't think a premium account is necessary. This mod is by uh, Octors here on uh, the Nexus Mods, but uh, on the Dinkum Discord, their name is Paris. So um, they do offer themselves here for contact. I found about this mod on uh, Reddit on the Dinkum's uh, subreddit, and it's a real life saver, really nice to be able to sit there and say, okay, that's worth keeping and that's not. So uh, here's kind of how it works. First of all, you need to have this specific extension file in order to run it. Um, when you click it, it'll download. I haven't had any issues with this so far. Uh, this particular mod has been checked, but I don't know if this link has been checked, but uh, it seems like it's, from my short amount of research, it seems like it's a common thing required for a lot of mods, and uh, it doesn't seem like it's uh, it doesn't seem like it's a bad thing. So uh, there's that. First thing you have to do is you have to extract this file that you download, the, fi the contents of this file, into the same folder as your Dinkum game. Then you have to run the game, and so it generates the files. Then you close it. Then you have to extract the mod that you download from here, and um, and then bring that mod, grab that, and bring it into one of the subfolders for this. And I'm going to show you how to do this right now. So first, let's say we would download this um, this particular mod. And I'm going to actually show you it already downloaded here. So uh, this is from yesterday. When I downloaded the mod, it was right here. The beep in X unity mono blah, 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 compressed zipped file. Uh, you have to you have to unzip the file. You can do that by extracting. Uh, I extract it all, and I extracted it to my downloads. I just find it easier to, to get it into my downloads extracted so I can look at it like that, right? Then what I did is I took this, I copied them, and I put them into the file where the game is. So how do you find out the file where the game is? Not too bad. If you're looking at your Steam library right here, and you right-click on the game, any of your games, if you go to Property, this will pop up, and if you click on to Local Files, you'll see where the file is actually stored on your hard drive. So there it is. It's right here. Uh, very easy to get to. It used to be way harder to get to this this page, but really easy to get there now. So when I first came into this um, and I was installing the mod, that file wasn't in there and neither were these three. Uh, they're all, like I kind of showed you, they're all part of this file that we downloaded in order to enable the mod, right? So I just clicked, selected them all, clicked and dragged into this file right here. I then ran the game. Um, I had to create the plugins folder myself, but hopefully it auto creates for you. I had to manually create it myself, um, for whatever reason, I'm not entirely sure why, but, uh, I knew how to create that. I named it the same as it showed here in the explanations. Uh, this shows you the root file basically, right? Beep in X dash plugins dash. And then there's your folder that it has to be in. So I just created that folder, uh, right there. I created it myself the plugins folder, naming it exactly the same to make sure it's nice and clean and clear. Uh, but the rest of the stuff basically uh, populated when I started the game. So, And then you have to exit out of the game. So you lo you enter the game, you exit the game, make sure the plugin folder is there, and then you download the mod itself. So when I downloaded the mod itself, it brought me up into which file do I want? Uh, it brought me this right here, value tooltip, blah, 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 blah. This is the mod itself, the folder with the mod in it. Uh, so in here, you can see that it has the Octor value tooltip, really easy application, very small size, blah, blah, blah. And I uh, I went ahead and opened it and extracted it onto into my downloads folders. It was in here, in this folder right here when I extracted it. Then what I had to do, based upon what it's telling me to do, it tells you to extract the mod and you put it into BeepNX plugins folder. So I went ahead and we'll bring this up one more time here, hopefully one more time. <laughs> I extracted it into this folder and then it wanted me to bring the contents is what it said and drop it into the plugins. So I just simply and dragged it over, dropped it into there and I started the game and it worked perfectly. Immediately 
the very first time. So a couple quick things right here that I kind of want to mention because I did originally have an issue and uh, my original issue, because I kind of forgot how to do mods, is that, uh, let's bring up the downloads again. What I originally ran into an issue with is that I clicked and dragged this entire folder in there and it did not want to function. Um, the zipped folder was not what it was asking me to, dra to drag in. If you read it again, it says uh, to extract the, the contents, the beep and X folder contents into the same folder. This is an important step. If you don't do it, which I'm sure some people will miss at first, uh, it will not function properly. So you want to go in there into the actual thing and extract just these files and bring them into your Dinkum folder. So, and there it is Dinkum right there with all my other uh, different Steam games here. So, but again, really easy to find that just through Steam. So pulled it over in there and it works perfectly. Very easy, very nice, and very convenient uh, quality of lifestyle mod. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. All the links that you're gonna need are gonna be in the description. One other quick, quick thing. Some, if it doesn't work after you do all those things, rewatch the video, try it again, make sure that you have everything where it needs to be. Uh, if it still doesn't work, you might need to install .NET uh, 6.0 or .NET 4.8 runtime. Um, these appear to be things that not everybody needs. They're kind of ways for Microsoft to read stuff, I think. Uh, I'm not a computer tech expert, but uh, you might have to download one of those. It does say so when you go to manually download. It says it, it, it requires one or more additional files in order to work properly. But you may not need it, and I just generally suggest not downloading more than you need. So there you go. Really easy, really quick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. There's a video, a visual guide here that they've added recently. And of course, uh, please contact Paris for any issues. Uh, thank you very much, Paris, aka Octors, for creating this mod. It's amazing. <laughs>